I'm going to do a little um, experiment now and show you uh, as a continuation of the last blog that I did with uh, worksheets. I mean, I've looked at counting. Now, Jonathan and I have gone through this a couple of times um, together and he showed me some really nifty little tricks. Um, so I thought it would be nice to do it just as, um, as an add-on and perhaps we'll do another couple of the, uh, the different tools you can use within the, um, the spreadsheets. But hey-ho, this is one. We'll count something like, um, let's have a look at car parks. So in the car parks, we'll have a look and a uh, car park is two and a half metres wide and let's have it about five metres deep. And that's now a nice little car park. Now, it's drawn on my Nort class. So what I need to do is to go into Tools and Organise, into my classes, I'll have a new one, and let's call it Car Park, if I could really spell. And we'll just save it as that. It comes up, use it, creation, solid, blah, blah, blah. Everything looks good. Let's have that. We'll change the, uh, the class over here quite easily. And... Um, we've now got that set up on a class. Now, just so for instance sake, I've got um, a row of um, uh, car parking bays and what I want to do is I want to duplicate that. Now, it just so happens I've done this before obviously, so the X and the Y and the Z for duplicating it, I'm going to have 11 up there. I want it to centres of 2.5 metres, the bays are 2.5 metres wide no Y and no Z and let's just leave uh, retain the original object in place and put those across and I've got all of them laid out nicely for me now just so happens if I've got a massive big site with hundreds of car parks on here how do I count them now they're all classed out so we should be able to do something using spreadsheets so let's go over here make sure we're at the top level and we're on Untitled, which is the one that we've got. Any space there. New resource. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a worksheet. I'll call it um, um, Available Car whoops, car Parking. I'm going to have it, just so happens, I only need three rows, probably. And I need two rows just for a title and now let's make that three and three uh, just to make it nice and round okay so here we are this is the the number in here and don't forget we have to click the tick now in here I want to do basic parking oh I didn't do the click the tick There we go. So easy to forget that. Okay, what we need to do here is to go up to here, click it down. Now, as Jonathan said, this is always put in the wrong way round. You've got to paste a function in first. And what I'm going to do is straight count. Okay, I'll put that in place. Now, it's the cursor is clicking in between the two brackets. It's waiting for more information. So again, I'm going to paste a criteria in here. And I'm going to put it down as being um, a class is car park. Nothing else that I really want to put on there at the moment. And press OK. OK, and let's just click that. Now I've got a mistake. What have I done wrong? I've forgotten to put the equal sign in front of it. And then I go and click that and I've got 12 there obviously because I put 11 down plus 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so I've got 12 up there quite nicely and what I can do then is just to go like that there there's the available car parking pull it over like that and I've got a straight number so that's how you do parking or any item that you can count hi in this little exercise, I'm going to count up some um, uh, car parks. But as you'll see on this particular job, I've got an existing ground floor, lower, and a ground floor, upper. 
So I've got two ground floors that I want to count and I want to separate them in the counting and there's a nice little neat way of doing that. So I've just removed the one that I've just done. So we're going to go into Untitled, which is the page I'm calling this one, and it's a top level, white space, and we're going to call it a worksheet. And in this particular one, I want three and I want three, and let's call it um, uh, car park spaces both. Okay, I've now got a nice little spreadsheet all set up, and I've got put the number here. And don't forget, click the click there, and we're going to put lower there. Click the click, and upper there. Click the click. Now in the lower, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop down here, and as Jonathan says, again, it's you know it's the wrong way round. You've got to go paste function first, which we thought would be on the top. And I'm going to use count, okay, and I'm going to count all the car parking spaces but only on one floor the lower floor now you can see the cursors flashing in between the two um, brackets and what I'm going to do is drop that down and paste the criteria in so the layer is specification no I want the existing lower ground floor I want to, more choices I want a class is car parks because they are car parks. Press that again and then we'll put a little equal sign in. Always forget it, but there you go. So we should now see that there are 12 on the existing ground floor, lower. Now let's just do the same again so you can see what I did. I'm going to paste a function. I'm going to call it, it's the count function that I'm going to use. I'm, in, I'm clicking in the middle of the two brackets, drop it down again, and I'm going to paste the criteria in. So the first is a layer, and I want the upper, so with the ground floor that I want. I want more choices. I want to drop that down because it's a class that I'm counting, and the class is car parks again. So I should have two separate numbers. And you see, objects that meet the criteria is 20. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Press OK. Now, don't forget, I need to put an equal sign in there. And press the click, and I've got 20. Pull that down off there. And put that into there. And I've got now a spreadsheet on the drawing, which shows exactly what the car parking is on there. And I could put another layer in there and count that up if I wanted, so I've got 32 spaces. But just be careful. John's trick was make sure you isolate the layers with your um, criteria so you don't get a count on every single floor that you've done. Just make sure it's on the right floor. Cheers.